Well, did you know that deer and vehicle collisions are three times more likely to occur on a fall day than any other season? So here with some tips to help you avoid an accident is Scott Schaefer from Schaefer Automotive. Welcome. Hi, thank you. I'm sure um, you guys deal with a lot of deer car collisions at your place. Oh my gosh, this time of year, uh, almost half of the vehicles that come in our shop are, are a result of a collision with a deer. Um, well, thanks for bringing yeah. some tips to help people possibly avoid a deer collision with their car. So first off, sure. you say be attentive. That's right. You know, there, there's times of the day where you'll have more deer activity. So what I like to say is, especially around sunset and sunrise, you want to be aware that that's the time of the day that deer are out running around more. And definitely want to be careful. Um, also, yeah, the next thing you say is drive with caution. Yeah, fairly obvious right, um, but tip still. there. But, you know, um, <laughs> Just just being aware of your surroundings, you know, farm fields, wooded areas, those are places where obviously deer like to hang out, and that's typically where deer will cross the road, so you have to be very careful in those areas. Obviously, deer Crosses. crossing, watch out for those. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> that's they what make they're signs warning you. for them. Right. Okay, yeah. so your next tip is to be especially careful when driving at night. That's right. You know, and, and one of the things I like to say when you're driving at night is if you can use your high beams, that's really the best situation. Um, don't want to have them shining in oncoming traffic, but if you can shine the high beams, you'll you'll be able to see any deer on the side of the road, and that's always a good thing. Okay, um, now let's say we see a deer. What should we do then? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that deer tend to travel in groups. Um, so if you see one, there's good chance that there's one or two coming behind. Um, best thing to do if if you see one down the road is to you know hit the brakes and blast your horn as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. um, and so slow down first, blow your horn really loud. That's right. And, <laughs> um, you know, definitely want to brake and stay in your lane because the worst thing you can do, this is the most important thing, you don't want to swerve to avoid the collision because mm -hmm. you stand a greater chance of hitting a tree or sign or an oncoming car. So that's the most dangerous thing about it. And like you said, if you see one deer, there could be others nearby, so watch out for that. That's right. That's right. Okay, yeah. so break firmly, but stay in your lane. Always wear your seatbelt. Absolutely. Always wear your seatbelt. Um, you know, single car crashes um, like that uh, can be very dangerous. Uh, you know, if you do happen to hit a deer, best thing you can do is pull your car over to the side of the road. Uh, it's always a good idea to call the police department, let them know where the accident is. And then you can definitely call Schaefer Auto Body Centers, and we're happy to help. We, something, yeah, for sure. Know. All right. Yeah. Well, Schaefer Auto Body, they have seven area locations. Give them a call at 636 305 8288 or find them online at schaeferautobody.com. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. We'll be right back.